Hello there! Today, I thought we'd take a second look at the Open Wheel Manager. It is now about two weeks until the game comes out. So I thought we could have a look at it again, try out the simulation uh, aspect, because you can actually sim races in this one, and generally just see if we can develop the car and figure out how it works, basically. So currently, we did uh, test out a bit last time around. It didn't go super well, to be fair, but uh, I think it'll go better as we learn more. So we do have a sponsorship offer here. It does say pick on car, but I haven't actually figured out how to do this really. So can't really click on these, unfortunately. So it's a bit of a weird one. But I would assume that we, if we try, we can potentially try and get a term for next year, maybe. So what we're going to do is just refuse this one. And we're going to go ahead and get a sponsorship for next year. And we're just going to go ahead and find sponsors. And I think that is how we're going to have to do things with the sponsorships. But yeah, as I said, what we what I wanted to try today was just try and simulate some of the races, see how that works, try and develop the car a little bit, see if we can get through basically this first season through simulations and figure out a little bit of how development works, if uh, you know how the sim aspect works and generally just what we can uh, figure out. So for now, we are actually discussing some contracts for the engine. Uh, we should probably check what we are actually going to be, you know, needing next year. That would be beneficial. The engine is uh, one of them. So check our contracts here for next year. See what we are going to be lacking. Uh, we are lacking sponsors, we're going to be lacking an engine, we're going to be lacking a chief designer, a first driver, and a reserve driver. Okay, so I think what we want to do here is probably get the man that we have already hired, potentially, uh, up for another season, unless we can, say, nab Per Svensson. Uh, I don't know, is he, the better? is he better? Slightly better, so... Yeah, he also has minus four in terms of uh, wanting to join our team. So we'll have to see exactly what we do here. If we do start, say, contract negotiations, how are you feeling? Is this is contract demands? Let's up that a little bit to say 200k then. I don't know if this is per week or not. And honestly, having him for 298 is fine. We'll send him that offer. And in terms of the rest of the contracts here for next year, we do need a first driver. Um, that of currently has no plans to continue. I believe he is planning to retire. Prefer to skip season and drive a slow car. Yeah, he uh, he's not happy with us. Let's put it like that. Hmm. Let us see here what we could get. Could get Walter Heavy, nineteen years old. Could be interesting as just a you know talent to race. See if they improve in stats. Uh, it does have very low feedback though, that could be an issue. Not great at overtakes, but we could potentially hire him as a reserve driver. Potentially. But I think we'll have a look at that again a little bit towards the uh, end of the season maybe. Or we might as well just offer him a reserve driver contract for next year. And I assume this, this is what basically what he is demanding of, of, of us. So let's just up these bonuses a little bit. That shouldn't be a problem. And we'll give him, say, 65k, maybe. Although, to be fair, I probably should be looking at the more talents before you make a decision like this, but we'll send the offer. I think we do still need to accept it before, you know, he becomes part of our team. Uh, I think that is everything we need to worry about now. We are going to, of course, be looking at uh, getting some more sponsorships for next season. 
I couldn't figure out how to sign a sponsor for this season, so we'll have to just work a little bit with that. But for now, we are just going to move ahead here and, as I said, start working on some of the other issues. We are lacking a little bit of uh, design points there to solve this problem for the chassis. And then I believe once we solve this problem, we can actually start increasing the level of the chassis and make it more effective. So that is uh, looking interesting. In terms of next year's chassis, uh, so far it's going well, I guess, on the research, although we are lacking the slow corner progress, so you need a little bit more work here. Safety-wise, nothing here we can really upgrade. We need a lot of design points. Uh, basically, we can increase the cooling, and we also can need some research points there. We're actually doing the front wing right now. I think we can just continue, honestly. And... We have some new mail here. We can now uh, improve the front wing, basically manufacture them. We have received a response to offer from Driveria. To find out the decision we make in week 25. My fly team also made an offer for Pierce Venson. That could be uh, problematic. But let's have a look at the contracts here and figure out exactly where we're at. So, negotiations, uh, his basic total is zero, so I don't know, minus four for him, our team level isn't high enough, and we're plus 2.7, so potentially we might get this one, although Brasilia is uh, a little bit higher, so we'll have to see, we might need to negotiate for a different engine later on, and probably we'll might not get the Bula here, but we'll see. But now that we have another race weekend ahead of us, that should give us the tire uh, research that we need, hopefully. And as we can see here, once again, I do do appreciate this screen that tells us what we can expect. It's going to be a rainy weekend, uh, potentially here, 29, 26%, not really potentially. It can come a little bit of rain. So I think we're going to gamble on there not being any. Our chassis is not good at tire saving, and that's not good news on this track. Yukio Takahara is not good at saving tires. We could put the reserve in the car, as you see, so that is good. But I think we're going to go to car setup here. Uh, we're going to try and set up for dry weather. And I think power is what we're going to focus on. Probably should have had a look and, you know, maybe fixed the car a little bit before this race, but uh, that is fine. Let's go ahead and get the setup done. We almost hit the good sweet spot. This guy had no luck of hitting the sweet spot, so let's go into practice. Uh, for setup here, I think we're going to put 16 laps onto the work on the setup. And we're going to put the remaining laps onto the tire research. That should give us enough points for that. And let's do two stints of I'll race him really, maybe engine research. Knowledge of parts would be nice, just a research aspect. So we'll try this, see if we get through it, and uh, hopefully we can uh, have a good one here. 27 laps for both of them. Okay, as you see at the practice, although it does help a little bit, it's very, very minor. Do we get two points of uh, tire research though? One point of uh, just regular research. And uh, yeah, not the greatest, but we'll deal with that, hopefully. Let's see how qualification goes. And it doesn't look like it went too well for us. Maybe it was wet tires, I would assume, with the blue tires there. 15th and 16th. So yeah, that is, uh, that's not great. And I think we're just going to keep them onto the standard strategies here. We'll experiment once we know a little bit more about the game. But let's try and simulate the race here and see what actually happens. We ended up 12th and 14th, so... A little bit of gain, not really a lot of gain here, but to be fair, we started pretty far back. We made a mistake with the uh, with the setup, so to speak. So we'll have to deal with that. So you can actually sim through a race weekend fairly quick in this game and focus on, say, just car development. We can, however, now solve the chassis issue, and I want to see what it uh, gives us once it's solved. Looking forward to it. Gaten Gunst signed a contract with Omega GP. Uh... Mega DP has picked up both. Don't call us win the race. Hmm. Teammate qualification duels update. Sado is still winning. Yeah, so we might need to try and uh, focus on poaching a driver next year. 
That might actually be what we're going to need to. Uh, but even that might be a little bit more difficult. So for now, we'll focus on the car. And we probably do need to focus on upgrading the front wings. Let's go ahead and get that done. And I think we can wait one more race before we repair something. Although, to be fair, if, say, the next race here is one that would be great for us, having things repaired would be pretty massive. But as you can see, the cost is pretty high for this. So I think we'll do one more race, repair every second, maybe. We have a lot of money, though, so I'm basically just being Scrooge McDuck here. But again, I want to experiment and see how, how we can do things here. Okay, so we have received a new research. Did it fail? Three new incoming offers from sponsors. Buffalo made an offer for Pez Venson. Brasilia made an offer for Bulliari. So yeah, there's actually some pretty... Pretty harsh uh, competition here, honestly. So we might need to focus a little bit more on the staff for a little while there. Now we have some offers for a contract for next year. And two of these are actually pretty big contracts. And let's see if we can pick that on the car then. Okay, there we go. I actually found... Okay, so it's just me being silly because as you can see here, we have a D here. And we had a G. So I need to find the C location, which is the rear wing. Okay, so it does work. It's just me being silly and didn't realize that these buttons, uh, well, these plaques, so to speak, are actually where you place your sponsorships. So we can probably get a sponsorship for this year as well. Uh, 20 million. I think that's fine. We're going to sign that. There's no more empty car slots on the car. No more empty slots on the car. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to have to just search new sponsors later on. But yeah, that does explain how... Uh, why I couldn't sign them. It was because I didn't click on these two. So we will be looking for new sponsors once we get enough negotiation points. But yeah, that explains uh, that explains the silliness, so to speak. Looks like also we did fail this one, I think. So that is interesting. But that does also kind of, uh, you know, if there is a chance to fail, that does make things a little bit more interesting as well. With that said, though, I think we have nothing we really need to do right now before the next race weekend. Uh, although we might want to start doing uh, a little bit of model purging here. Get uh, that research up. Should probably have this one running until we have them somewhat balanced. Facilities wise here. We now have maximum staff. And everything but the factory. I'm still waiting for 50 more to get to 50 leadership points so that we can start constructing the test track. And as you can see, we are gaining a decent amount of all, all stat right now. We're still focusing on uh, the promotion from trainee, honestly. I think that is the best option for us. Negotiations. Honestly, we don't need... We, we're still getting a ton of points here, as you can see. And it's just going to keep on going up as our staff gets better. So, yeah, I'm not too, uh, I'm not too worried. Can we obtain any practice on the track by choosing appropriate test program? So, yeah. We'll try and get uh, we'll try and get more research going as well. I'll have to look and see what the test track actually does. Financially, uh, I think we are looking good. Really wish we had a financial unit you know, estimation for next year, but we did sign that one uh, sponsor that's going to give us twenty million, so that is uh, that is good. With that said, let's jump into the next race again, and we'll have a look at what we can do here. We don't actually excel too much here as you can see it's what another track that doesn't really benefit our car too much so we might need to make a little bit more specialized one and this time around it's just nine percent chance of rain so we are going to go for a dry weather setup uh we are going to go with uh just power again and this time we kind of miss the setup pretty harshly and same here so what we're going to do now is just focus on getting uh some research going so let's set up three stents uh, I want you to do tire research on all of them. And for this man, we want him to do kind of the same. And we want just tire research from him too, I think. Let's simulate uh, practice and see what we do. 26 and just a single lap here before it broke down. That is bad. That is very bad. 
cast that in for dry weather. It is uh, probably dry. We've got three points there. But yeah, as you can see, the car actually broke down in practice, which is not great. Probably should have repaired it. And we are starting this time, 13th and 17th. So that kind of tells us that we are eh, not in a good spot, honestly. The car might need a little bit more work. <laughs> now, in terms of what we can do here, uh, in terms of strategy, is probably soft, soft, hard is probably the best bet here, or hard, hard. So we're going to let them stick with the strategies that they have. And we'll simulate the race here, see if we do some improvement this time around. Nope, we fell down. Brake failure, hydraulics failure, they both DNF'd. So definitely need to fix those probably after every race. So that was my mistake, but at least we have learned our lesson now. So let's go ahead and uh, do another model purge first and foremost. But we are going to go into our production menu here and we are going to repair everything uh, for both cars. It's going to cost us a decent chunk of money, 3.47 million. And uh, we're also going to be uh, repairing the other parts. Luckily, it's instant. But yeah, that can be quite expensive. And I think we're going to just have to do it after every race. I think that is what we've learned. New safety, we can increase our cooling. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. That is fine. And the chassis here is coming along nicely. We've almost reached maximum here. The only thing we're lacking is slow corners and downfalls. And uh, the level here now is up to seven. So, yeah, definitely worth it to start this early, I think. Uh, we'll have to see exactly how, you know, efficient it becomes compared to what we can could have gotten. But it's definitely looking good. Buffalo made a driver offer. Apparently, uh, many people want to get uh, Bulliari here. So, we might have, might have to do something to, uh, to snatch some other... Uh, staff here. So let's go. We'll go have a look at uh, our first driver. Krieger here is actually kind of interested. He is probably not a bad choice. Holding position is kind of bad at that. High aggression, feedback, frustration, stability, work with tires. We could try and nab Krieger. Honestly, he doesn't seem to be a, you know, a bad one. He should have decent speed. He does not great at overtaking, holding position, but Apparently, we cannot get him. Yeah. Because he's signed for next year. I see. Uh, hmm. Josh Longy seems to be a potential... Oh, sorry. Kimi Kapanen seems to be a potential candidate. Is there a serve driver? Uh, Josh Long, maybe... Again, we don't know what is the best stat to focus on. So we're kind of just uh, testing our way forwards here. Pedro Paolo. Hmm. Sebastian Wolf seems to be pretty, pretty decent average. I think Vincent Casana here. If we can actually nab him, we can even change his name. Would be a good option. He's actually level up in stability, but looks at things. First driver, uh, I don't know if this is on a ceaselessly or a weekly basis. Let us give you half a million and two year contract, maybe. Do you just want a one year one? And I'll give you 100k because, again, we're rich. We can actually kind of deal with that. Let's give you 20k for points and 150 for a win. And we'll try and send this offer. And again, I do kind of want to try and get another sponsorship going uh, before we really start spending these points elsewhere. But we are kind of have to negotiate for drivers. And, uh, and that is just how things are. If you want to renegotiate this, we'll have to still spend three more points. So... We'll wait a couple of weeks, get, uh, get, the, uh, get the upgrades going, and then we can, you know, worry about that. For now, though, I think we will go ahead and just speed things along. But yeah, we do need to try and get better hydraulics in particular. So once we get a chance to switch out our components, I think we will.
Okay, we have enough points to improve a building. I assume that is the test track. So 75 weeks, 746,000. So this is gonna cost us probably upwards towards 50 million. We are gonna go ahead and construct this, 56 million. And uh, we will accept that. I am curious about how this one works. Definitely doing that. We have enough now to start a sponsor search. We'll do it for 96. Uh, basically, we wasted a bunch of points as we didn't get that the first time around. But at least I have figured out now how sponsors worked. We managed to improve cooling. Part is ready for production. Uh, we received a response from Vincenzo Casa. So look what he feels like. We're a plus five, suggested role, top championship, team reputation rank. So yeah, he seems happy with this, honestly. Uh, we'll go with that as well. And let's check finances here and just see what we have in terms of salaries. So salaries seem to be on a weekly basis. That could be a bit of a yikes one, potentially. We'll see though. I might have paid him a little bit too much and bankrupted my team. We'll figure that out as we go. Uh, for now though, we do need to head to production here. We apparently have some upgrades on the cooling. Let's get that started. And we're just gonna go to the race. And again, I do wanna try and sim a season or two here today to just see how this works more or less more than anything else. And we once again have a track that doesn't really, you know, fit our car much. We've seen six out of 10, it's the best one so far. So we do need to put in a little bit of work. There's a very low percent chance of rain here, so we're gonna gamble on dry weather again. We are gonna see if we can hit that sweet spot. We did for the engine setting. How are we looking for the car setup here? The man almost hit it. He might have a much better race this time around. Plus one to the power. And in the practice session here, um, honestly, I'm tempted to just simulate practice and see what they do themselves. So let's do that. 10th and 15th in practice. Let's see the summary here. Five engine points. I assume this man only improved this. Uh, I didn't actually see how many laps they did. But I assume he only improved his uh, setup, which is decent. Let's see now if we have a bit of an improvement now in qualifying position. 12th and 13th. Not the worst thing ever. And once again, we're just going to stick with the base strategy. Uh, it seems to work pretty well. Well, it doesn't really seem to work pretty well, but it, we don't really have much of a choice. We don't really have a huge amount of times available to us. It's just soft or hard. And, uh, you know, the difference in strategy there. Set up is eighth in the race. So close to points. We're getting there. And Takahara had a brakes failure on uh, a very, very early lap there. New negotiation decision is available. Uh, okay. New decision for a chassis, increase the efficiency of the wet tires. Let's see if we can get this done. And uh, this one is getting better. We'll almost reach maximum. Uh, we might need to just get some design points there and improve that front wing though. That's probably what we should have been doing. So let's go ahead and put in a model purge. And Desla signed with Penardi Racing. Uliari has been getting offers from a lot of other teams as well. Dan Collins win the race. Um, yeah. Leave with that as we go. We probably are going to have to... Probably not actually uh, repair things this time around. We do want to repair the brakes though. So they have that failure. Uh, could also potentially repair the engine, but it's fairly expensive. So we're just going to do like this. This is still acceptable, I think. Things in 90 to, you know... Not too low range, so to speak. That should be perfectly A-OK. -okay. Let's see if we can actually solve this uh, wet tire and asphalt issue. And here we go. We can actually upgrade the chassis to level 5 with the sign points. So that is basically once you've solved all your problems, you get an option to improve your chassis. And apparently we also have an option for CFD here. We can improve cooling. I think it's actually more important that we improve the front wing before that. So we're still going to wait a little bit. And we are going to do another one of them uh, model purges, so we can get a little bit more extra design. And that should be A-OK. -okay. Hmm. Research points are kind of hard to get, so we'll have to see how we do this with the underbody. But considering the underbody needs points already, 
I would assume this is a fairly important part of your car. So we'll see exactly how to deal with that. How we're looking here, 73 weeks out, basically one and a half years. At the end of season two, we're probably gonna get it. But yeah, there's a bunch of races remaining. So let's head to the next race here. See, we're gonna sim again. And apparently this is a track we have some advantages on. We have a powerful engine. Our chassis has low drag. Our engine performance is higher than the chassis. Uh, our engine can add extra edge on a track with so many straights. straights. So we do have potential here. There's no real difficulty with overtaking. It's more tire wear and fuel consumption. So yeah, it looks like we might have an opportunity here to get something done. There is a 25% chance of rain. We are going to gamble on a dry weather here. We are going to go with uh, potentially fuel economy maybe because fuel economy was one of the concerns here. So let's see if we can get a good setup. We failed. Let's see if we can get a good setup here for Takahara. We failed that one as well. And I think we're just going to sim it like we did last time. 28 laps for both of them, which is not bad. We'll take that. And both of them went into tires. So we might need to just set up, uh, you know, some other things later on. Let's see where we actually end up qualifying here. 12th and 13th. I think that's the first time Takahara speeds out of. But it is actually a wet race here. That is going to be detrimental to us. We hit that 25%. And we'll probably be, yeah towards the back here, although we suffered engine failures, uh, lap by lap. You can actually see here, uh, because where we were before we crashed out, 13th, and yeah. Unfortunate, but it's the wrong setup. It hurts. There's nothing we really can do with that. We have a new decision here for the safety, and I want to upgrade the front wing, honestly. Basically, what I want to try and do is build as good of a car as I can for next year. So honestly, I probably should have not uh, done anything with solving the problems. We probably would like to do cooling. Uh, probably start working out on getting research points mainly. And work from there. So we're still lacking the downfalls, but we are getting to the end of the research there for the next year's chassis. It is looking good. Okay, let's see if we can actually get the... Uh, get the, uh, the correct ones on this time. So see... And G, like so. That doesn't look too bad. Let us sign the contract for this year. Uh, we don't really have any empty spots there. Apparently there's a limit to how many uh, sponsors you can have, I think. Oh, no, we can actually sign the contract there. Let's do, let's do this. Pick on car H would make them very happy. Where do we have the H? Is it this one? No, there. Side of the uh, front wing. So let's sign that contract. And if we go into our contracts now and have a look at the sponsorships here. So as you can see, they are paying us weekly, I assume. Yeah. So Sado gets 400,000 per week. Takara gets 100,000 per week. Treyo gets... Uh, 32 per week, so contracts are definitely negotiated weekly, which is kind of what you'd expect, really. And that is perfectly A-OK. -okay. But yeah, this gives us another 200k a week, 162k a week, and 18k a week. So it's going to help us financially a little bit. Although, to be fair, we aren't really suffering from money. We have more than we know what to do with. But we can now probably start negotiating a little bit more about... Uh, about the drivers here. So, so far, no one has gone after Kasana, except for us. But uh, Bulliari here, there's a bunch of them that wants him. So what I'm thinking is that we are gonna go ahead and have a look at what we can find in terms of stuff. The, uh, we might actually just have Strayo here extend his, uh, his role or even promote him to, uh, you know, a different driver. I believe he is the reserve driver currently. But he wants to be an equal driver. Hmm. Do we want to promote him? 
Let's see, how is he? Oh, we can actually do... This is interesting. So we can do some shenanigans, if we will. Uh, but I, what I want to have a look at was actually the... Uh, the drivers. So, Saito Takahara isn't super good, but he is not super bad either. So, for now, I think we want to keep him. And if we can extend Treyo's contract as a reserve driver, that would actually be king. But it seems like he doesn't, you know, really want to do that. But we'll give him a reserve driver contract. We'll pay him 50k. Uh, we will give him a 50k signing bonus. We'll remove that. And for points, we'll give him, not 900, we'll give him 18k. And we'll try and offer him this, see how he feels. But for now, I think we have solved most of our issues here. Although we might need to uh, try and get a different engine manufacturer because Brasilia is probably going to be picked. I don't know how many they can pick because we are currently in second place. So we'll see what happens here in week 25 in terms of if it's random or not. So I'm looking forward to that. And the chest for next season is built. Okay. Let's see what uh, Treyo feels about his uh, his offer here. So he's not happy with his salary. Okay. We might need to give him 200k as a reserve driver. That could be a problematic. So we'll have to see, if we, we'll have to see what he th thinks about this in week 25, which is basically a couple of races away. And what I want to do now is actually go ahead and upgrade those front wings. And apparently his engine has perished, so let's just fix everything. Uh, fix the suspension. Let's get this fixed as well. It's going to cost some money, but we don't really have a choice. And I want to see what we can do with the chance for next year. The improvement is complete, okay. So we can't actually do anything. We probably should make a bit of a specialized car, potentially. But the chassis is level 7 compared to the current level 4. We don't need to use any, you know, points to do that. The front wing, though, does need research points now. The uh, cooling still does not. So for now, we'll just keep the points as they are. We might need to use some of them to fix something. But as I said, we're going to be setting up uh, practice programs now for the rest of the season. And it's basically just focus on getting ourselves some more research points. So with that, I think we can just jump into the next race here. And once again, a track that doesn't really suit us. Low chance of rain. We'll just keep the neutral maybe in case we hit that. And that actually gives us minus 5% on everything if we don't hit the expected windows. But uh, our boy did. And even then, he is losing some downforce on... Yeah, we probably should just pick one. The one with least chance, potentially. I don't think, that, I don't think we really have any other option than that. So we're going to go with the knowledge of parts here for both drivers. A short first stint, then a longer second stint. And uh, see if we can get ourselves some uh, some progress here. Didn't do too many laps, unfortunately, but that is just how things are. Two points plus zero points. So it's going to take us a few races here to actually get any sort of progress in the research department. So 13th, 17th, not the greatest. We'll just again... Let him stick with standard strategy. Can't really, you know, influence it too much just yet. And this was actually a good race for us. We ended up 7th and 9th. Uh, but uh, if you consider the amount of cars that crashed out here, uh, almost 10 of them, oh, well, not crashed out, got uh, ended up outside. That's not great either. So it's a bit of a shame. It was a good ch chance of points. Couldn't really grasp it. And uh, it is what you expect, really. For now, though, I don't think we have anything in particular that needs doing. I do want to have a look at our staff again. And their knees are probably stuck at 50 for a while now. Oh, that was... Hmm, I think everything is stuck potentially where they are at. So what I'm expecting here to happen now is basically this is the... Uh, this is the maximum kind of... Variance, maybe? Because we're still... I believe it was still the same earlier on and we are basically doing the focus on staff thing so 
Let's try that for a couple more weeks, see if they still have 50 of each. Could just be people, you know, quitting. But I do find it a bit interesting. Hmm. I think we're also going to go ahead here and extend Colin Lane's contract. 140k a week. Let us get you just up a little bit more because, again, I don't think we're going to be able to snatch that other man. Uh, Colin Lane isn't too bad either, so let's just send him an offer. Pierce Venson here, team level. So, yeah. Colin isn't too bad in his own right, so it's not actually a problem. Okay, we have enough points to start a sponsor search. We have a new decision for our CFD. We could improve on cooling again, which is probably what we're going to do. Uh, we don't really have anything else to improve on right now. We could improve on the current chassis, but let's face it, it's better to focus on next year's car. And uh, what we could do here is just start another sponsor search for this year. And then we start focusing on next year's sponsors. I think that is going to be the play. We have received a response from Colin. And he's a plus one. So, seems good there. Let's go to the race here. Once again, overtaking is going to be... Uh, a little bit helpful here for Sadov. It's uh, potentially a rainy qualifier. So we're going to gamble for the race here. I feel. He hit the green zone. So drag reduction for the race itself should be decent. Uh, I'm going to lose a little bit for the... Uh, for the qualifier. It's just how things are. Can't really do anything about it. And we're going to do some shorter stints here. In the hopes that we can actually complete most of these laps without the car blowing up. So, let's see if we can do this. And again, I probably should try and get more better feedback drivers for a season or two. Just to develop the car. So, 10th and 12th now on the qualifying grid. That is... Uh, that's not bad. Well, sorry, that was practice, not qualifying. Let's see how qualifying actually goes. Wet qualifying, so we're probably at the back of the grid at 16 18th, yeah. We're just going to simulate through. So, 9th here for Takahara. So, uh, 14th for Sado, engine failure. Probably going to need to fix the, the cars now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. Just fix everything, I think, at this point. And it's going to cost, as you can see, both in points and also in money. So, it's painful, but we'll just have to deal with that. We have a new negotiation decision available. Um, did the engine say no to us, maybe? Oh, there we go. Contract cancelled? Rivera was ready to sign a contract then. They said no. Okay. Uh, Chief designer Colin Lane ready to sign a contract. Let's sign him. Uh... Colin Lane hide in Kinawaki. So yeah, we did fail that engine discussion. So we're gonna have to find a new other another engine manufacturer if we can. Uh, it's a bit of a shame though. Engine easy. Could be a good option potentially. Uh, let us go ahead and offer a contract. Let's go with a uh, sponsored contract. 97. See how they feel about that. Uh, I wanted to see what the different spot. I know that clients are. I think partners, clients, are two upgrades behind. Part sponsors are one, maybe. I don't remember, but we do want to get a contract where we actually get good engines next year. That would be neat. Let's see when they give us their reply. Uh, I guess we don't know yet. We'll see. Fortunate, but not between Bellucci Racing and Engine Easy. Sebastian Wolf signed a contract. Bulliari. Uh, Javi Martins hired in Coral. Daniel Palmer. Okay, so basically, we received a response. Final decision will be made in. Okay, so yeah. Took a week there basically for the engine's uh, decisions to update. But I believe this one might be a little bit bug right now. We'll see though. Um. So yeah, sponsor doesn't seem to be possible. Let's try and get him a uh, partner offer. And we'll have to see how that goes. Because, yeah. That's just how it was. Basically, the contracts were a week delayed. 
Potentially our driver issue should be solved, I think. <coughs> As you can see, we're paying some pretty hefty prices here for some of our staff. Um, so we'll have to see how this is going to work out. But we're also getting a decent amount of money back in sponsorship, so I don't think we really have anything to concern ourselves with. Once again, a track where we have some advantage. Fuel consumption is a big concern here, so we'll go with dry weather and fuel economy as our focuses for setup. He hit the green zone here, which should be good if it stays dry. Not really a good setup for Takahara, all things considered, but that is just how it goes sometimes. And we are still going to work on just a knowledge of parts, I think. Uh, do it in a three center, just to be on the safe side. What if we do it like this? Let's see how many laps he actually gets through before the car says goodbye. He actually got through more laps than uh, Sado, so probably just easier to do it like that, maybe then. Two points, one point. I think we're getting close now to getting an upgrade. Um, potentially, I think, to the underfloor is what we want to do. And we qualified 11th and 13th. So not too shabby. Let's be honest. It's still decent. And I think what we're going to do here is, once again, we just simulate the races. We want to get through this first season and then see if we can develop a good car for next year. That's going to be the, uh, the plan here. So we are just on the edge of points while simming. We also have enough research points now to potentially get an upgrade going. So that's going to be good. Apparently Corp here wants a... Uh, Sponsorship, D, E, F, and J. D is there. Where do we find the E? We found the J at least. This is like find Waldo. I believe that is a number, but I can't really click it. There we go. There were apparently two sponsor <laughs> sponsorships on the nose. So we found everything, which means that we now have signed every single contract available to us in 97. So it's 96, sorry. So now we need to just fill out the 97 more spots and that sh then we should be good here. I think. I hope. Let's put it like that. I do hope. Really wish that we could do some improvements on this one, like getting the green zone better, things like that, but we can't really. And right now, the only thing that we really need to do an upgrade, and again, is going to be just a sign point. So we're going to go and have a look here. 81%, 83%. We're going to fix this hydraulics for sure. But other than that, I think we can just leave things the rest as they are. Failures do happen, and they are kind of, uh, you know, annoying, but we'll just have to deal with that. Do another model purge, get us a few more points. See if we can get some cooling going, some other things. Uh, apparently, Bellucci Racing and Rotorium has uh, announced a partnership with the brakes. Uh, new offers from sponsors. Please Roy Washington. We have received a response. The final decision will be made in week, week 27. Isn't that this week? They're ready to sign contract, but it gets cancelled. Excuse me? Oh, there we go. It might be that I had to go in here and sign the contract myself. Uh, but we can actually sign the contract here with Engine Easy. They aren't too bad, honestly, let's be honest here. They uh, there will be maximum power. They'll be lacking a little bit of cooling. But reliability in the fuel economy will be at the maximum levels. So, honestly, I think we'll take that. Partner contracts seem to be the second level. Sponsored contracts may be the first. But yeah, we'll definitely we'll definitely take this for sure. We'll have to see what we do with the drivers here, what they feel like. Uh, but I assume here that because he's on the minor side, he will not accept our offer. So let's sign the engine contract. Uh, let's negotiate a little bit with Tregio here. Let's see if we give you 130k a week. How you feel about that? Because we do still need a uh, a reserve driver next year. I'm looking forward to seeing what Kasane actually, you know, does because he is a decent driver, lacking a little bit on this this side. Good feedback, good speed, good everything here. So honestly, I think it would be a good option for us. Honestly, new decision for the CFD. We can actually upgrade the underbody, which is probably what we're gonna do. Uh, again, I do want to kind of get everything equal because once bands come in. The way that I understand them is that they'll just, you know, remove the level on something. So we kind of want to try and keep things somewhat balanced for the time being. 
and then work with things later on. Uh, we could also increase the greenstone here potentially, but that's going to cost us a lot of uh, on-track work points. So I think what we want to do right now is do another one of them model purges. Get that cooling improved a little bit, and that should make us a little bit easier in terms of the work. Response will be made in week 28. Okay. So we need to give him a little bit more money then. Uh, after consider the extra, you know, money we're paying him, it's going to be quite expensive. But I do want to kind of keep him around and then maybe, you know, promote him the season after. So I'm spending a lot of negotiation points on this, but that is fine. Tire is high on this track, so that is going to be a bit of a problem. I don't think we have anything to do with part tire wear here, really. Nope. And again, with the low chance of wet as there are, we're just going to go with dry weather, do a little bit of gamble. And I don't know if he hit maximum here, but he should have. That looks like maximum. Did he go past maximum and end up in the, in the negatives? Oh, that would be hilarious if he did. Uh, we are once again just going to do the knowledge of parts. We are kind of developing our car for next year. Do want to get every part up to at least level 5 or 6, I think. Then we can work from there. 28 and 19 laps, not the best in terms of getting research, but uh, still acceptable. 13th and 14th, so yeah, we are we're still kind of around where we usually are. I didn't actually upgrade the underfloor. And we had a failure here for both cars, that's not great. That is not great at all. Uh, we are going to improve the cooling, and then we're going to fix both issues next week, I think. Safety task complete. Uh, final decision was made in week 29. Okay, so we're getting close. But the question here is, do we want a reserve driver that is that expensive? Um, what we might want to do instead is go into contracts here and have a look at who has the highest feedback available to us. Abel here is one of the same kind of uh, drivers though. Might not accept to be a reserve driver with uh, the level of feedback that he has. Uh, basically that or... Man right here, second driver. First driver, so a lot of these guys actually already have uh, driver roles and we want high feedback on our reserve because that will allow us to uh, that'll allow us to you know get a little bit more research going so we'll do it like this see how he feels about it and if not we'll just have to pay Threadio what he wants which is going to be extremely expensive but I don't think we have a choice at that point is the thing it's going to be the main one <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Roberto Salsa has been hired. The safety has been upgraded. We have received a response and he's ready to sign. Okay. I think we're going to sign Abel then. Uh, which solves our issue with the reserve. And as you can see here, the staff allocations are still the same. 5, 10, 35, 50. So I think they're kind of stuck at this. Um, so you can't actually get 100 top staff potentially. So we can probably change what we are currently focusing on. But I guess getting an extra 0 0.2 would be a little bit helpful, maybe. Potentially. But yeah, uh, we're going to upgrade the underbody. We're going to upgrade the... <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to upgrade just everything here. Get... <coughs> Again, sorry. Uh, we're just going to get some things here fixed. We're going to get some upgrades going. And we just about have enough points for those. So, it is what it is. We're getting very close to the end of the season, though. We're ninth in the, uh, in the championship, unfortunately. So, yeah. We might need to uh, try and look out on some points here. Khan definitely needs more work, though, is the thing. For now though, we'll head to the race, and we're just, again, just once again going to sim through. Simming seems to work pretty well. Uh, it's re like the results have been fairly reliable. It's been kind of what you expect. So, no big surprise there. A good setup here now for the race. 
and we're going to go ahead and put them on the same practice setup that we've done the last couple of times. Just get that knowledge of the parts up. <clears throat> Please within the top 10. 12th and 14th. Okay. I think what we're going to do is change the race strategy around a little bit. Uh, 16 laps. 21 laps. Okay, so we want to put 21 laps in here. 21 plus 41. I believe. Yep. And then we go for 16 more laps. There we are. So we're going to put him on a hard stint in the middle. A car starts on the hard and then works from there. So I want to see how this works out, if it actually changes anything for us. Start up at 9th, uh, Takahara with a DNF. Brakes failure. Eh, it's not great, but we'll take it. Pesso Enston hired in the McFly team. No surprise that we couldn't actually, you know, get him. Colin Smith's race, teammate quality duels. Uh, I think Takahara needs, uh, you know, a little bit, a uh, little bit of an improvement there. We have enough research points now that we can actually go for another improvement of the underbody, and we will. We're not going to improve cooling no more because, well, cooling right now is going to be costly. But getting the underbody up a couple more levels is going to be, it's going to be, a, you know, pretty great for next season. With that said, we don't really have anything to spend our design points on now unless we have research points. So we're just going to keep things as uh, as they kind of are in that aspect. Uh, we could potentially work on some of the other issues here, but like the chassis level. But again, I think we want to wait for that until next year. The brakes fail, so we want to do go ahead and replace them. And we might as well go ahead and, you know, kind of fix these, but we don't really have the money right now. So it is what it is. We're also going to go ahead and improve the underbody next uh, next month. So let's get that out of the way. Apparently, we also have upgrades here for both the suspension and hydraulics. So we'll take those uh, for sure. And we just about have enough points to get this done. So yeah, that was uh, that, that one kind of came in clutch. Partnerships here. Crysign has updated a new version of hydraulics. Good. Actually, just tell you when they when they do that. And we do want to start a sponsorship search for 97. We want to get that done as quickly as possible. Let us get through another race here, full speed. And I do actually enjoy that you can just kind of sit down here and <clears throat> focus on developing your car, do the races if you want to. But honestly, I, I do find that quite enjoyable. Okay, so we hit plus two to the power there. Man's going to be a rocket ship. And again, we're just going to do knowledge of parts. It is a uh, learning, so to speak, uh, session here. And we'll simulate the quality. We're in England. And we start pretty far down this time around, but honestly, not a big deal again. Uh, side of this time with a brake failure. So yeah, we definitely want to, once we, you know, get the contracts out there, uh, replace some of our partners, so to speak. Corolla and Green and Motors, uh, Danny James, Collins. Uh, new negotiation decision is available. I don't know which one, unfortunately. But yeah. Except for the sponsorships here, there's not really much else we need to do now. We are probably going to get a... Uh, we are probably going to get a, uh, a new first driver. Honestly, no one else is going for him, so we'll just take him. Mugabe here, we're playing him a decent chunk of money still, let's be fair, but less than the rest. So yeah, it's looking good. And if we can get those other, you know, sponsorships going as well, it's going to definitely help with uh, getting getting money. And as you can see, the sponsorships is actually split between how many spaces they take up. So in this case, uh, Tronician offers 20 million, but it's, it is actually uh, spread between this side right here and the one on the rear wing so the sponsorship money does get kind of uh split out if you will but definitely still worth it i dare say we're ready to just continue okay bunch of new partnerships so it does seem to be a kind of a living world at least very good we have again a very powerful car here so looks good we're in russia this year 
this year, this weekend. Dry weather, I think power is probably just still the, the best bet here, although reliability is probably not a bad bet. Power just gives you more energy if you hit that green zone. And we actually hit one green zone. And we hit a second green zone. So potentially this could be a very, very good race weekend. I am kind of tempted here to have him work on car setup for both cars this weekend because of the fact that we have uh, pretty good setups. So let's gamble. We are gonna work on car setups and we gain a couple of percentage points here. It's nothing major, but like it should help a little bit. Unfortunately for Takahara, he just hit the fast corners one for the rise, but it should be a tiny boost here. Hopefully that will help us a little bit. I say as we qualify 14th and 16th. So yeah, um, not the best one, honestly, in terms of qualifying. And we actually end up DNF and 11th. Could give a speech before the race, uh, chance to make mistakes or have tire locks. Basically, uh, if we have a race that we feel is important, we can do that. I want to have a look at the facilities though. If they have retained the, yeah, they've retained the split. So that is good at least. For the car itself, I don't think there's anything we really want to do. Again, research points is what we're mainly going to need for that. And we have some partnerships announced here. New offers from sponsors. Uh, Villa RT makes an offer for Vincenzo Casana, but he is ready to sign for us. And again, I think he is a good option, although he's lost a little bit of stability here. It's on its way down. Uh, I still think he is a good a good option for us right now. And again, an old an old legend with okay feedback. So let's go ahead and just sign that contract. And that I believe concludes our contract hunt for next year. Oh. I paid him a lot of money. I'm paying him 26 million. 31, 34, 40, 50. We need about 60 million in sponsorships to go into, you know, into zero here. So yeah, that's going to be expensive. I didn't realize I gave him a contract that was that expensive. But apparently I did. So we'll have to deal with that. Luckily, it's just a one year contract, I believe. So that is okay. But if we can get some sponsorships here going, that should kind of solve that issue. Once again, we are playing Find Waldo, uh, or rather find the sponsorships. Pick on car, D, E, F, and J. So yeah, there we go, sign the contract. And we want to pick a, is this on the side of the front wing? It is, I believe. There we go. That should be every sponsorship done for both years, which is good. And with that, we could have a look at contracts now. And it estimates that we're going to be making 15.5 million a season. Uh, okay. 15.5 million made. So even if we're going to be fixing our car, that's going to turn into, uh, you know, negative money. We're going to be losing money most likely. Also, we do, of course, have the uh, potential here of the of the test track uh, that we are messing with. So see, we're paying building maintenance, construction. Building maintenance, I don't think, comes un in under contracts. So potentially, yeah, we could be a bit of a you know monetary crisis next year. I might actually bring us into uh, into bankrupt territory. <laughs> but for now, let us sim through this race again. Uh, we're gonna do dry again, dry weather. Just stick with power. And this is probably Sado's best chance, provided we don't hit that 23% uh, chance there to actually score points this uh, score points this year. But we're still going to just do the knowledge of parts, although I probably should have fixed those car parts before this race, now that I think about it. And potentially here, I have screwed both our drivers by not doing that. Yeah, 17th and 19th, I would have expected us to qualify better, but we also hit the rain, so didn't really matter but yeah we are gonna have to probably fix the car probably should have done that earlier as you can see uh it's gonna cost a lot of money but i don't think we really have a choice here we're gonna do this and we're gonna gamble on them surviving these last three races uh apparently we also have some upgrades incoming that i should have just done instead of fixing but we'll put them on uh the other car here i don't know how we switch car parts 
because it says that we have more parts. So I don't know. We'll deal with that as we go. Update to Brakes and Gearbox, some partnerships, teammate quality duel. Uh, Wukai, Oliver Jensen. <clears throat> but we will do a, another one here. Dry weather. Uh, uh, honestly, neutral is probably the play on this one. It's basically a 50% chance. And I think we're just going to work with reliability here. We need to try and make these uh, these engines last a little bit, so we don't really have any other option than that. And we are once again just going to work on the knowledge of car parts. Decent amount of laps. We'll take that. And we simulate through the quality again. And 12th and 15th, so not too shabby. It's going to be a wet race. And there's not really much we can do in terms of strategy. 12th and Sadov still does not finish a race. That is uh, starting to become a, a theme with him, unfortunately. And financially here, we have spent a lot of money this year. 80 million. And the building maintenance is actually a bit of a problem. So we'll have to see if we can actually make something work with that. We could close and fire all staff. But again, it doesn't actually tell me how much each building costs to work unless the... Some of it is this construction. We'll see. We still have 200 something million, so I'm not actually worried. Uh, once again, I think we're just going to do underfloor, get that up to the level of the rest, and then we can start working rear wing, front wing, and underfloor again. And again, just do them in order to uh, stay safe of potential, you know, regulation changes. We also want to try and save up Aspen design points as we can for next year, so we can level the chassis to the maximum level. I think that would be interesting to have a look at. Uh, CFD task complete. We do need to upgrade said CFD. Uh, sorry, underfloor. Which is pretty alright. And again, hey, we are just having two races left. We're going to save a little bit of money this year by just not doing anything in particular for upgrading it. And we are going to go with the dry weather. We're going to go with reliability. And that should, hopefully, keep our car a little bit more alive. Uh, knowledge of car parts again. We do want to try and develop as much as we can. Just 4 and 17 laps there. That is uh, that is not good. We do need to work a little bit more on our... Uh, on our reliability. Let's be honest about that. Sadov uh, in 10th. That puts him up for potential points here. Let's go with the base strategy here. He's in 8th. So yeah, we're still limping close to the points here. Uh, but we're not really getting into them, which is a bit of an issue. Honestly, we could probably have a look at the overall here. Collins is the best one. Then we have Hong. Uh, uh, Collins, I believe, is, uh, you know, contracted forever. But basically, it's most of their cars, you can see. So I think we're still fine. Let's just have a quick look here. Uh, the engines here are low, let's be honest, but it's just one more raise. I don't think we're really going to be able to score points, even if we do go all in here. So we're just going to be happy with how it is. Tire wear, fuel consumption, let's go fuel economy. Uh, dry weather here, no chance of wet. Let's see what we can pull off. Takahara is going to have his uh, best race of his life, most likely. And we do want to try and get just as many laps as we can. Uh, knowledge of car parts. 30 and 4. So yeah. The car is kind of falling apart at this point, let's be honest. Bellucci, Buffalo, Brasilia seems to be the better teams right now. We are in 14th and 15th. And let's get through this final race. The closer we've been to points, just one place off. But to be fair, we're a minute behind. So uh, yeah, not really close at all. And we are actually done with the season now. So we're going to finish off the season, see how things work. And as you can see, you can actually sim through a season pretty quickly, which allows you to, again, just focus on development, have a little bit of fun with the uh, with the way things work. And honestly, I have kind of kind of really enjoyed this, just messing around with contracts, messing around with uh, development, trying to balance these things a little bit. It's been it's been good, honestly. And uh, I'm wondering if we get an update here on, uh, you know, results in OVC one. Uh, you know, money, things like that. There's no need for us to upgrade the chassis. 
it doesn't actually give us anything. And I'm looking forward to, as I said, how next season is going to end up uh, playing out. McFly team got Treyo, which is perfectly acceptable. He uh, he didn't sign you know, a new contract with us, so nothing to do with us anymore. And are we losing money? We are. Taking down 1.33 million a month here. Or so, rather a week, as you can see. So we are slowly but surely becoming fairly poor. Do we get any payout for being ninth in the OBC? No. Okay. Before the start of the new season, we have to choose one of the tire suppliers. Each supplier has three types of contract. Client, we pay for deliveries. Partner, free deliveries. Sponsorship, free deliveries plus a sponsorship, which does not require a sticker on the car. <laughs> okay. Number of sponsorship and partnership contracts are limited. Teams choose the contract in the reverse order of their result last season. We took ninth place, so our number in the order of tire selection is fourth. Okay. So we can actually pick tires now. These guys are great on wear resistance. It's a bit of an issue there. Okay. So we need to pick a contract here. So these guys are quick. Uh, well, have good grip, but they have low wear resistance. But to be fair, the others, they don't really have anything that is better. So we're going to pick a partner contract. Uh, because it is the cheapest contract we can get. Other than that, we'd be paying money. So there's no reason for us to do that. We're going to confirm this one. I think it's the best option. Let's be honest here. The wear resistance on the hard is decent. And even if we take compared to, say, Rankful uh, or Tire here, which are other options, they they have great wet tires. Let's be fair here. And these guys don't really have great wet tires, but we're going to have mostly dry races. The wear might be a bit of an issue, but it is what it is. We'll just have to deal with that as we go. So we're going to go ahead and gamble on this. It's a high wear setup, and we'll just have to deal with that. Change the library of the new car. Uh, do we want to... Honestly, I kind of like this library, so we are just going to keep it as it is. And I wanted to see if we got any money for... Price money, there it is. Three million. <laughs> so we made barely any money there in terms of the price money, and we lost, a, we lost some reputation. Okay, so we're basically now five-star reputation. We were seven star before this uh, this season, so that is a bit of an issue. Apparently, we also need to increase the uh, efficiency of soft tires to 90% at asphalt temperatures. And as you can see, we've actually lost all of our points here. They have reset for the new year, so that is a bit of an issue. But we have kept all of our progress. Um, we can also start working on the next year's car, potentially. So we could gamble on just having a car that is incredibly good at tire saving. Uh, but as you can see, it's going to be a bit problematic elsewhere. So, yeah, I don't know what is best yet. We'll have to do some experiments, but we did lose a lot of team rep. So this is going to hurt us for potentially next year, unless we have a good result. Because as you can see, we have uh, some sponsorships here that are going down the drain, all of them. We have engine, gearbox, brakes, hydraulic suspension, everything is going down the drain. First driver, second driver, we're going to need both of those. So, yeah could potentially have a pretty hard season here and if you have a season like us it might have been better to go for say two year contracts rather than the one year contract we did as it most likely would have paid off better uh, than what uh, than what we've ended up doing here so yeah it's a bit of a bit of a harsh one in terms of reality so to speak but i think we're gonna end it here we have uh, basically ran through a season through simulation it works pretty well uh, we were close to points a couple of times, but it is a 996 season. Cars are expected to break down. It would be more surprising if they didn't. So it is what it is. I've enjoyed this game so far. We will probably have another look at this if we can somewhat recover. But for now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you around next time. Bye bye.